Hello and welcome to A Perfect Home. Thank you so much for joining us. I'm your host, Jennifer Cohen. Today we're talking about Gettle's High Desert Mechanical. Our purpose here at A Perfect Home is to introduce you to professionals at the top of their game who can help you take your house to a home, a perfect home. So we're here with Dustin Gettle. How you doing? I'm doing great. All right. Thank you for sitting here with me. No problem. And we're, we're switching into the high gear of heating season, so I know you guys are really busy. So thank you for taking time we out are, we are. to come and sit here. So it is amazing. Now, you are the son of Adam. Yeah. Well, okay, so it's this, it's this family organization, which is really amazing. It's awesome. Yeah, yeah. that's really sweet. I, my dad was a dentist, so that was not going to happen. <laughs> so <laughs> now, now tell us, how long have you worked at your father's company? A uh, little over three years. Right. So, full time uh, in high school, fr uh, freshman through senior year, I worked summers. So that's where I got the majority of the installation experience mm -hmm. for the HVAC business. Um, then went off to college and tried something else for quite a while. Yeah. Then uh, my wife and I started having kids, and we decided that Phoenix was not the place to raise our family. So. Mm. Moved back up here, got a job with the family business, and been doing it for a little over three years now. Nice. Yeah. But technically, since you started in high school, you've been doing it longer. Correct. So you have a lot of years' experience. Yeah. Was it was? Uh, did you think it was cruel of him or wonderful that he would drag you out to job sites and put you to work? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it was quite the experience. I mean, mm -hmm. climbing around in an attic in the summertime. I mean, mm. it's brutal. Yeah. I mean, it's probably 140 degrees in there at times, wow. and it's it's pretty strenuous. Yeah. So, but look at you. Then you went, yeah. you went, and you came back, and you're in it full time. Yeah. And you've got a wonderful family. How many kids do you yep. have now? Three. Three. Yep. So I have oh, uh, four-year-old twin girls. They'll be five in December. All right. And then a two-year-old son who's going to be three here in about two weeks. Oh. Wonderful, yeah. congratulations. Thank you. And you enjoy living in the Verde Valley, I mean, oh, opposed to Phoenix. The Verde Valley is an amazing place. Yeah. So that's why everyone's coming here. Mm -hmm. We have it all. That's true, we yeah. do. Now, Gettle's High Desert Mechanical has been in business since 1926, which I think is truly amazing. So that was forever. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> the Gettle family has been in HVAC for a very long time. Mm -hmm. Uh, Gettle's High Desert Mechanical, my dad and uncle have been up here for a little over 30 years. Mm -hmm. So it's uh, been around a long time. Absolutely. What's yeah. your favorite thing about your job? I think working with family. Yeah? Yep. Dad, uncle, cousins. It's it's awesome. Oh, so I'm, I'm blessed I get to have that experience. Well, that's true. So yeah. how many family members? Because I know that you have your cousins, which mm -hmm. we're going to talk to Luke and Hank here in a little while. <laughs> so you've got those guys. Yep. And then your dad and your uncle. Yep, Is there so any other family involved? That's it. That's everybody. Yep. Oh, how awesome. Yep, so it's, it's great. Oh, that's fun. Yep. Oh, what brought you back? Because you went away. And mm -hmm. what brought you back to HVAC? I always wanted to be involved in the family business, but it didn't always work out. You know, the, the economy went down in 08 and it was, businesses were struggling. So the opportunity wasn't really there at that time. So um, I traveled all over the country doing commercial construction. And luckily the economy came back. I was sick of traveling, started mm -hmm. a family, and it all came together. It well, worked out to come back, so. That's good. And yeah. since you, you have experience in commercial construction, mm -hmm. you have experience from the ground up. Yeah. As far as buildings go all and heating aspects. and cooling. You've got yep. it covered. Mm-hmm. Wow. It's, so it all worked out. That makes a lot of sense, mm -hmm. Dustin, that you would do that. So you went away and got even more experience just to add mm -hmm. to your resume there that, that makes you even better at the job that you do. I went online. If you go online to gettleshdm.com and you look, there are hundreds and hundreds of reviews. They're all five star, <laughs> yeah. which is incredibly <laughs> impressive. And the things that they say, they say professional, they say knowledgeable, friendly, polite, always on time, excellent service, I'm very pleased, the best they've ever used. You guys are doing a great job. We try really hard, mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah, it definitely shows. So now, we're, we're, it's November now, we're moving into heating season. What are you seeing now? What are you going out and doing? Uh, definitely an influx of, influx of service calls, mm -hmm. people getting ready for heating season, you know. We've had a little cold snap over the mm -hmm. last few weeks, so people started using their heat again. Um, so I'd say that's a big uptick as far as service goes. And then new construction right now is going crazy. 
Right. I mean, people are building homes like they haven't done in a long time. That's great. So great for the economy. It's yep. wonderful that that's happening. Great for you guys mm -hmm. as well. So, and you do a lot of things along with heating and cooling. I know you do um, air quality work for uh, air purifiers and humidifiers, things we really, really need in Arizona. Yeah, we do, um, like you said, air purification, humidification. Um, we do a lot of Energy Star credentialed homes, so uh, a lot of fresh air systems in those, um, mm -hmm. all across the board. Mm -hmm. Everything to do with HVAC, air quality, plumbing, yeah. you name it. That's, that's true, and there's plumbing involved. Yep. Good God, there's electrical, <laughs> there's plumbing, there's so much. And air quality, I mean, we walk outside here in the Verde Valley, we have excellent air quality. However, folks with allergies or the days where there's dust or mm -hmm. there's fires or something is happening, it's, it's still very important. I know I keep my windows open all the time and there's a layer of <laughs> dust like that, like that in a day. Sure, yeah. it's. Air quality is beneficial, you know. <laughs> no, I know that a lot of people suffer from allergies here, especially when the pinyon is blooming, and then we get our fireplaces going yeah. and things like that. And then in the summertime, you know, it's important to have your systems maintained because you, you can start introducing more allergens, ugh, gross That's things right. into yeah. your environment. And you guys do an amazing thing. You have a maintenance contract, a full service maintenance contract, mm -hmm. where you take care of everything. Because I look at those machines and I go, oh, I don't know what to do here, <laughs> you know? But you do. <laughs> yeah, the maintenance, pro or the maintenance contract's really nice. We call them energy savings agreements. Uh, it gives the, the customer, whoever it may be, two visits per year, mm -hmm. uh, come out in the fall prior to the heating season change filters at that time, make sure their equipment's run into spec, uh, and we do the same thing in the spring for the cooling season. So mm -hmm. kind of get ahead of any potential breakdown that may come because they never come at a good time. Yeah. <laughs> it's always when it's 105 out or 10 true. degrees out. That is you true. Know. One thing about you guys that I also saw on the website is you've got a 24-7 response. So if something breaks, it's not like, well, we'll get to you on Monday, it's Friday night, or, you know. We're having a barbecue. Forget it. That's no. right. We have we have service techs on call not only every every night of the week, but even weekends, holidays. So there's always someone available for those emergencies. Oh yeah, which of course is always at two o'clock at Thanksgiving. Right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And it's snowing. <laughs> That's and how it goes. Your heat goes down, and you're like, yeah. everybody huddle around the turkey. No, that doesn't have to happen with yeah. you guys. That's amazing. I don't yeah. know anyone else that does that 24/7 yeah. service. Yeah. It's a great service, you know, the size of our company, we can we can offer stuff like that and take care of homeowners. Yeah, yeah, yeah. you definitely you take care of this area, the Verde Valley, of yeah. course, we've got the Verde Valley and the Quad Cities and the surrounding areas, so you guys do a fair amount of traveling. Yeah, we're even we're even doing quite a bit of homes up in Flagstaff now, so wow. we're covering more and more ground. Congratulations. Yeah. I know Thank I see you. your van everywhere. Yeah. It's really, really <laughs> cool, the Gettles High Desert Mechanical van. Now, the, the name High Desert Mechanical is very cool. What does it mean? Well, we live in high desert here, mm -hmm. so it's just our elevation, and I, I don't know how they decided on that name. I'm sure they went through a whole lot of different mm -hmm. ideas, but that's what they picked, and it's literally because our elevation here, the high desert. There you go. Yeah. Well, good. That has to make things a little different, too, as far as working in this particular field, because you've either got extreme temperatures one way or the other. Yeah. And then in Flagstaff, I don't know, does the altitude does anything? It does. It does. Altitude <laughs> plays a huge factor, not only in heating, but air conditioning as well. So wow. um, not only do you have to derate the furnace for the altitude, you have to derate your air conditioning as well. Wow, yeah. that's good to know. Flagstaff listeners, did you know that? Uh-oh, <laughs> you're going to get a lot of phone calls. Not that Flagstaff needs that much <laughs> air conditioning, but... <laughs> but when it does, it's yeah. very important. You know, when it gets over 80 in Flagstaff, everybody freaks out. Right, so right. So that's yeah. very important. You must have to keep up with, with what's going on, you know, the all the EPA and all the standards and all the different equipment that comes out all the time. That must be a lot of continued learning for you guys. Yeah, Co building codes, mm -hmm. um, the EPA... Uh, energy efficiency, it is constantly changing. So we're always reading, always learning, just so we can, you know, be more effective and efficient for the homeowner. Mm -hmm. So yeah, absolutely. Do you see your son getting involved, and perhaps your daughters too? You know, that would be amazing. Involved. Yeah, be keep amazing. it going. Yeah. Oh my gosh, multi generational. Yeah. I mean, it already is, but they have the kid. You've got to have a picture of your little kid with the hat on. <laughs> Post that yeah. on the website. Yeah. <laughs>
<laughs> it is a great website, Gettles High Desert Mechanical. Go to gettleshdm.com. Of course, if you want to give them a call, that's easy enough too, 928-567-2200. You can give them a call and talk to them. I mean, like I say, they're available 24-7. If you've got something wrong with your system, you better hope you got it from Gettles because then <laughs> you can get it fixed. <laughs> and I like that you come out twice a year because I, I'm daunted by the amount of maintenance needed on my home just as the season shifts from heating needs to cooling needs. Sure. And I make a list and then it takes me weeks to get to that list. And I go, geez, if I'd have done that a month ago, I would have saved some money on my heating or I wouldn't have had this problem or it wouldn't have broken down because I would have known to have changed the filter or would have found the pack rat living in my yep, filter. Yep. They're, they're <laughs> pretty that? destructive around here. <laughs> yep, they are. I know. The yeah. weather, the crit all kinds of stuff has got to get in your way. You guys must be constantly busy. Oh man, we are. We work a lot of hours, but yeah. it's worth it. We love it, so yeah. it's not, not a burden and by any means. I can yeah. tell. I can tell you look very happy and very healthy and you All love right. what you're doing, so. Thank you. <laughs> That's good, you see forever. You're gonna be running the company one day, perhaps. Huh? That's the goal. All right, yep. it's good to have goals. Well, awesome. Dustin Gettle, he's the son of Adam Gettle from Gettle's High Desert Mechanical. Gettle'sHDM.com, 928-567-2200. We'll be right back. Special treat. Next, we're going to talk to Luke and Hank Gettle, so don't go away. We'll be right back with more of A Perfect Home in just a moment. Paul Stanley here with Stanley Steel Structures. We offer shade structures that provide style, value, and performance. Our Equinox louvered roof opens and closes to give you the ultimate patio experience. We also offer Illumawood shade covers that looks like wood but lasts like steel and never needs painting or maintenance. Visit us at stanleysteelstructures.com. Contact us today and be covered tomorrow. Stanley Steel Structures, let us add some space to your place. Northern Arizona Mortgage Corporation is your local choice for personalized home loans, and they've been doing it since 1986. They help home buyers obtain FHA, VA, USDA guaranteed rural housing, and conventional loans. From start to finish, they offer a safe in-person application process with licensed loan originators. Contact Shelley White Collier at northernarizonamortgage.com or call 634-4251. Visit their office, located at 707 East Dominguez, Suite 601, Cottonwood. Fabulous views and unmatched quality with efficiency in mind. Just announced, CNB Construction is the only contractor ever to win the EPA's coveted Indoor Air Plus Leaders Award four years in a row. These Energy Star certified homes provide unparalleled energy efficiency, comfort, durability, and indoor air quality. CNB Construction is currently building at Gray Fox Ridge and Crossroads at Mingus. CNB Construction, locally respected and nationally recognized. This is Bruce Morrow, Transportation Manager for Cottonwood Area Transit. Remember, we cover the entire Verde Valley in Sedona. Cottonwood Area Transit has you covered wherever you want to ride in the Verde Valley, all day, every day. Take Cottonwood Area Transit through Clarkdale, Verde Village, and from 26 locations in Cottonwood. With Verde Links, it's a quick and easy trip to Sedona every day. Don't forget our connectors to Camp Verde. Visit cottonwoodaz.gov for Cottonwood Area Transit and take a seat. Let's go ride. And welcome back to A Perfect Home. We're talking about Gettle's High Desert Mechanical today. With us now, I have Luke and Hank who are the sons of Ted Gettle. So it's a, as we've mentioned before, and we just had Dustin on, it is a family-run company. We've got everybody involved. So we've got the, the sons, the cousins, and the brothers, and all kinds of stuff happening here. It's, it's truly fabulous. Absolutely. <laughs> so so let's, let's give a start. Luke, how long have you worked at the company? I Just under three years. Right. Um, I started working there, I think, in uh, summer of 2015, mm -hmm. right after I gradu graduated college. Um, right. I moved back from Iowa came back home to the Verde Valley and started working with the family. All right, so, came yep. back to the Verde Valley to do Absolutely. that. Absolutely, yep. Excellent, how about you, Hank? I have a similar story to Dustin. Mm -hmm. You know, um, sophomore year of high school, summer, all the way through, you know, I went to college in South Dakota State, but every summer I'd be working, installed, doing the nitty gritty stuff. Mm -hmm. You know, now I went to ASU, graduated back since about six months ago. Wow. So recently graduated. Welcome back and congratulations on your graduation. Thank you very much. Well, that's amazing. Now, did you take a departure, Luke? Did you think you were gonna go do something else? Or, and then you went, oh, I'm coming back. 
This is too good. I mean, to be honest with you, I was so involved with athletics growing up. Mm -hmm. That's really what I spent most of my time focusing on. Um, that's why I went to college in Iowa. Um, I had an athletic scholarship out there to wrestle. Mm -hmm. um, so I spent five years out there. It was cold. I knew I wanted to get out of there. <laughs> um, you know, I met my wife back there. Mm -hmm. um, I didn't really have any necessarily plans, like go work at any one place. I just wanted to finish out my wrestling career as best I could, and I knew mm -hmm. I'd figure it out. Um, my dad and uncle approached me and said, hey, you know, your cousin Dustin's working there and doing a great job and you have an opportunity if you'd like it. Mm -hmm. um, so I thought about it and it's been awesome. I don't regret it one bit. I love it. I got my brother there, uncle, father, cousin. It's awesome. Nice. So. Well, that's great. And how about you, Hank, when you went away and what were you thinking? Were you foraging off into some new field or? Yeah, obviously, like I went to college for business you know I looked into different businesses and stuff like that um, I'm real interested in the hands-on type businesses I can't see myself in like a real office setting daily I like to be mm -hmm. out and about and this job really offers that and also you know it's the family thing I love you know hanging out with my brother and stuff mm -hmm. we fight obviously we're <laughs> brothers but it's a great time you know let's we grew up doing that we're both wrestlers so we Oh my gosh. Yeah, we kind of, you know, we both have the messed up ears to prove it, <laughs> all that stuff. So, you know, I graduated about a month before graduation. I got a phone call from my uncle going, hey, you know, we really need you up here. It's wow. busy, you know, all hands on deck. Would you want to come up here? And I said, you know, yeah, I'm willing to come up here. Wow. You know, check it out. I'm having a great time too. Good. Yeah. Back come home. back to the Verde Valley. Yep. Super. That's great. Have you started a family, Luke? I actually, I'm married. Mm -hmm. I, I met my uh, wife in Iowa. Her name's Lindsay. Excellent. I made her move to Arizona yeah. um, with me, and she told me about four months ago, I got a little boy on the way. Ah! So, oh, my goodness. You heard it here first, folks. Yeah, my Congratulations. Life's a, thank you. My life's definitely <laughs> going to change. Wow. Her. Oh, my so gosh. I'm very yeah. excited. Yeah. You have a, a future HVAC mechanic. Oh, man. Likely. Yeah. Sorry, said he's gonna name it after me. Oh, I did not all that stuff. <laughs> Come on. Really keeping it yeah. close in the family here. Exactly. <laughs> no. How about you, Hank? Family for you? No family. Okay. Nothing really going on. Mm -hmm. You know, just moved back kind of far sure. from Phoenix. So all my friends down there, a little far away from them. So yeah. kind of resettling in the Verde Valley. Yeah. It's a nice it's place, adjusted. though. We got a good, you know, decent nightlife. Mm -hmm. All that stuff's all good. Yeah, that's Having true. A great time. Certainly enough business here. I have to say, I know that you guys are really busy. You do the Verde Valley, the Quad Cities, the surrounding areas. You're now doing Flagstaff. Yeah. Oh, Congratulations absolutely. on expanding. Yeah, we're we're busy absolutely every single day. Um, I think we, me, Dustin, uh, Hank, we're all in the office. You know, around 6 a.m. We're there mm -hmm. till five, if not later, every single night. Well, so if we're even there. Yeah, we're we're, we're working. We're out doing things every single day. So it's awesome. Right. Well, each yep. of you grew up, you know, in high school going out and helping mm -hmm. and really getting that experience. Same thing with Dustin. So your dad started you young. Absolutely. Which is, oh, that's, that's great. That's the best thing to do, dad. Start me young. <laughs> so. <laughs> It absolutely is <laughs> what my dad always <laughs> said. He just builds character, yeah. which is true. But if we look at you, you're, you're healthy, you're happy, just like us, and you, you enjoy what you're doing, and it shows. And that shows in your reviews when we look online. If we go to gettleshdm.com, your reviews, yeah. five-star across the board, absolutely. hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of them, professional, friendly, always on time, polite. I can see that from sitting here with you. And you know what that is? That's our service techs, our, mm -hmm. our installers, our service techs. That's those guys really you know, doing doing the right things for the customers, which we harp on every single day. It's in our mission statement, you know, do the right thing for the customer. And you do that day in and day out, and it shows. People, you know, for every one good review, you know, there's a lot of people that didn't even leave one that are happy. Right. So it, you know, not everybody goes to their computer and gets on the keyboard. So mm -hmm. it shows that our guys are doing a really good job, and we couldn't be more proud of them, truly. Yeah. So. That's excellent, and I know you're always expanding. And you, you're st are you still looking for help? Absolutely, yes. Yeah. Always hiring, always oh, looking yes. for more help. Yeah. Yes, we need yeah. help. We need so. help. Yeah. <laughs> um, <to us. laughs> the guys yeah. like help. You see how skinny Come we are. An application. We're working. Yes. <laughs> of course. What kind of people are you looking for, Hank? Uh, Hardworking people mm -hmm. that show up on time, yep. have drive, self-starting. Mm -hmm. Obviously, all those things that you hear in every job interview ever. Right. What are kind of person are you? But yes, you know, hardworking people. You know, you got to be willing to show up and do your work, mm -hmm. you know, work sure. hard. It's not an easy job being up in those attics. In the wintertime, it's cold. In the summertime, it's hot. Yeah. You know. That's true. You, the environment. Job. Yeah. 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 
I know you're 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 hearty folk for dealing. <laughs> Somebody's got to do it, right? <laughs> I complain the whole time. Oh while I talk. <laughs> yes, but I'm sure there's there's a, a smile and a twinkle behind that <laughs> yeah, complaint, sure. and it must be way too much fun working with each other. Oh man, we oh. have wrestling matches in the middle of the office. I was going to ask that if you settle disputes with wrestling. Oh, uh, yeah. only between us. Yeah. But it's, <laughs> no, it's. It's awesome. I mean, a lot, of, a lot, a lot of work gets done, mm -hmm. but there's also a lot of good laughs. And mm -hmm. it's just, you know, when you think about your life, you don't, work is a huge part of your life, you know, yes. a, a huge amount of your years. And you don't want to wake up every single morning and hate going into the office and going to work. And I think a lot of people have that. And mm -hmm. I, since I've been working here, not a single day I wake up and go, I don't want to go into work. Mm -hmm. So, you know, it's a, it's a huge blessing, like Dustin said. Um, it's awesome. I can't see myself doing anything else, truly. All so, right. Same, it's a lot of I, pretty much the same, same thing, thing for you, yeah, Hank, yeah. huh? I like awesome. going to work. Very good. So the, so the question of do you see yourself running the company someday is kind of cute, isn't it? Because I would say that's probably a yes. Yeah, hopefully. <laughs> of course, hopefully. Hopefully, hopefully, yeah. hopefully yeah. all three of us figure out a way to yeah. figure out how to expand this company further and further every day. Yeah. So, sure. Yeah. So just need limit. more people like you. <laughs> That's We're looking for him. <laughs> yeah, you got to start having more kids. <laughs> yeah, it's create, all him right create now. more. <laughs> Come on, I got one. That's all I. Think. Hey, that's a good start. Yeah, you got to start somewhere. I'm that's scared, great. Man. Keep. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I would tell you don't be, but I'd be lying. Yeah. So. I know. <laughs> but you. but you've got a good family support system around you, and everybody is is so got your back. Without and a doubt, it's, it's, it's just amazing. Without now we're gonna take a really quick short break. But we have a little bit more to talk about, so don't go away because we'll be right back with more of a perfect home and talk about Gettles High Desert Mechanical. Hi, this is Todd at Todd's Appliances in Camp Verde. We can meet or beat any box store prices on major appliances. That's right, meet or beat any box store prices. We carry name brand appliances like Maytag, Whirlpool, GE, Speed Queen. With same day, next day service, Todd's Appliance, Main Street, Camp Verde. We service what we sell and we sell what we service the least. Go to toddsappliances.com, 567-3062. See store for details. Hi, this is Greg at Verde Solar Power. You know, Arizona has lots of clean, renewable sunshine, and we want to help you take advantage of it with our quality solar installations, and we offer to beat any written offer on a residential solar electric system. So bring us your electric bill and let us show you how solar power will save you money. We're located conveniently here in the Verde Valley and are dedicated to helping the valley go solar. So remember, the energy solution comes up every morning. We Organize You serves the entire Quad City area and the Verde Valley with custom cabinetry, including kitchen, garage, laundry, custom home office, and closet systems. Stop by their showroom in Chino Valley to see how they can make your home more convenient and valuable. It's time to get reorganized with We Organize You. For more information, go to weorganizearizona.com. That's weorganizearizona.com. Starting in the late 1920s, Grandpa Gettle and his brothers laid the groundwork for what would become a family legacy. Almost 100 years and 100 patents later, Gettle's High Desert Mechanical continues to raise the bar of quality heating, cooling, and plumbing products and services in the Verde Valley. Call Gettle's High Desert Mechanical Heating, Air Conditioning, and Plumbing at 567-2200 or online at gettleshdm.com. Providing solutions for your comfort. Don't settle. Get Gettle's. And welcome back to A Perfect Home. Just a few more minutes left. We've been talking about Gettle's High Desert Mechanical. We've met the family. This is Meet the Family Day. We had Dustin in earlier. We have Luke and Hank with us now. And I love it. What are your job titles at the company? We're tech, uh, technically comfort consultants. Mm -hmm. <laughs> We're the guys that come to your house, you know, figure out what exactly is going on with your system, where the downfalls of your current system are, what we can improve on what your current system, how it's set up. Say you have an evaporative cooler only and a furnace and you're looking for the air conditioner. We're the guys that will come out, size your house correctly for the right size unit mm. and figure out how we're gonna install that and we'll end up giving you a proposal and all that stuff with what it would cost. 
All right. Do you have anything Absolutely. to add? Absolutely. Uh, it's basically remodel stuff. So, mm -hmm. you know, current systems, current houses, uh, you know, when they get to be 15, that 15 to 18 year range, you know, they start to have issues, you know, mm -hmm. just like humans as we age, got to go to the doctor a little mm -hmm. bit, you know. Um, and HVAC equipment, it doesn't last forever. So we get, you know, multiple calls every single day for us to come out and evaluate a house, figure out, you know, the new system that they might want, you know, whether they have allergies, health concerns, um, you know, dust issues, all kinds of mm -hmm. things like that. Just really listen to the homeowner and try to figure out what is right for them um, and then propose solutions to those problems, um, you know, and try to help them. That's truly what we do. Um, so yeah. That's great. Because yeah. most homeowners can look around their house and go, I'm cold or I'm hot, but not what do I do about it? Well, for sure, yeah. there's there's usually a root cause. Um, we do duct testing. We can check to see if their their ductwork has leaks in it, um, which is a huge you know a huge problem. We see that a lot, mm -hmm. not in the new homes, but the older homes, which is mostly what we handle. Um, you know, so ductwork that's something that we address. Mm -hmm. uh, equipment sizing that's another thing that we address. Um, a lot of people back in the day used to just size air conditioning based on rule, rules of thumb. Mm. Um, which is not square footed. Yeah, correct. Mm -hmm. The correct way to do it. So, you know, we take a real scientific approach to it and try to do what's right for that homeowner and give them, you know, the tiered options from basic, you know, mid level, you know, to high end. Mm -hmm. So, mm -hmm. for sure, there's a lot to take into account. The, yeah. the architecture of today's homes with those huge vaulted ceilings, oh, that's got to wreak havoc on heating and cooling systems. Uh, there's all kinds of fun they're, things. They're, they're a big <laughs> suck so. on the heating and cooling part. Mm -hmm. the big vaulted ceilings you know we'll go into a house and hey are all your rooms even temperature ma'am sir and they'll go oh well this room's always hot you know so we'll go up in the attic and we'll look and sometimes there's a physical issue with the duct work or something mm -hmm. or maybe it's just the way the house is set up it's the southwest corner which gets the most sunlight mm -hmm. maybe it's a little light on insulation all that stuff we take all that stuff into account when we do our what's called the load calculation where we measure all the windows, the angle of the house to the sun, wow. how the house is built down to the two by four to two by six. Wow. You know, Absolutely. all that stuff. We figure out exactly what size your house needs when it comes to air conditioners because you don't want to be oversized. If you're oversized, it'll turn on, it'll turn off, it'll turn on, it'll turn off. Mm -hmm. And it's going to really hurt your bill. And, you know, you won't be comfortable because it'll be cycling on and off. It won't be getting those far reaches of your house. Mm -hmm. You know, so the perfect system is the perfectly sized system. You can't overdo it and expect to be more comfortable. So right. we go in there and we are the guys that will tell you, you need this size system. There you go. Bigger is not better. Bigger is not better in air conditioning. To, yeah, and air heating conditioning well. and heating, yes. Oh, absolutely, yeah, that giant furnace in your cooking. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> so exactly. it's not quite right. Yeah. So getting it just perfect, thats that's got to be a skill for you guys. That's got to take some thought, but that's got to be fun. It it's is fun. fun. It's yeah. a mystery. Every time you go show up to a house, you never know what you're going to find. Mm -hmm. You never know what you're going to see. You open some attics, and you're like, what's going on here? But Neat. we always try to figure it out for what's best for the customer. Yeah. And we get to meet a lot of awesome people on the, in the way, bad. too. So, you know, bad. we're meeting two families each every single day, sometimes three families every mm -hmm. single day. Yeah. Um, that's each of us. So, right. you know, we we're, we're meet a lot of really cool people. There's a lot of good people in this this country. Yeah, so, there are, for yep. sure. It's in the Verde yep, Valley, absolutely. too, for sure. And when you think about what you're doing for those people, you know, they're going to be comfortable. I don't know about you, but I've lived in a lot of un uncomfortable homes where it was either too hot or too cold or always at the wrong time. And, you know, the quality of life goes down a little bit. Oh, for sure. Right. I mean, it's, you know, you look at the age demographic for where we're at, and it's typically older folks, retired folks. Um, they spend a lot of time in their home, mm -hmm. you know. Uh, they're in their home. So yeah. you want to be comfortable in your space, and mm -hmm. that's what we do. Well, that's Hence, great. comfort consultants. There you go, right? comfort consultants. <laughs> Luke and Hank, get all <laughs> the comfort consultants. I love it. To schedule an appointment, they can just give you a call. Absolutely. 928-567-2200. If you go online, gettleshdm.com, you can check it out there. Great website. Everything is explained beautifully from their uh, maintenance contracts to their air quality products to the, the HVAC to all kinds of options that you have. And, of course, having the comfort consultants come to your home. So do check that out. Thanks so much, Thank guys. Thank you. Luke, Thank you so appreciate much. you being pleasure. here. Continue your awesome work there at Gettles High Desert Mechanical. Thank you. Look forward to seeing you again Thank next you time. Thank you very much. Awesome. That's all the time we have for a perfect home. Thank you so much for joining us. Make sure you come and see us again next time.